Imagine a celestial body, barely 17 miles in diameter, orbiting a planet three times within a single day. Welcome to Phobos, the larger of Mars' two moons. This fascinating celestial body measures just 17 by 14 by 11 miles in diameter and is so close to Mars that it orbits the red planet three times a day. In fact, Phobos is so close that in some locations on Mars, it cannot always be seen. Discovered in the late 19th century by American astronomer Asaph Hall, Phobos was named after the Greek god of fear, a fitting name given its foreboding orbit. Its close proximity to its parent planet and its rapid orbit make it a unique subject of study among astronomers and scientists. Phobos, despite its small size, holds a great many mysteries that scientists are eager to unravel. Picture this, a moon so close to its planet that it cannot always be seen from some locations on the planet's surface. That's Phobos for you, a little larger than a city, with dimensions of 17 by 14 by 11 miles, Phobos isn't just another moon in the vast universe. Its orbit is what sets it apart. Phobos orbits Mars not once, not twice, but three times a day. Imagine experiencing three full moons in a single day. Furthermore, Phobos is so close to Mars that there are locations on the Martian surface where it simply disappears from view. Now, that's a game of cosmic hide and seek. No known moon orbits closer to its planet, making Phobos's orbit unique and intriguing. This proximity has made Phobos a subject of interest for scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Phobos's unique orbit is just one of the fascinating aspects about this Martian moon. Phobos might be small, but it's certainly not lacking in features. The most prominent of these is the Stickney Crater. This mammoth-sized crater stretches about six miles wide, consuming nearly half of the moon's surface. Named after Chloe Angeline Stickney Hall, the wife of astronomer Asaph Hall, who discovered Phobos, the crater's history is as fascinating as its size. The impact that caused Stickney must have been powerful enough to shatter Phobos, yet the moon survived, leaving us with this intriguing landmark. But the Stickney crater isn't the only feature that makes Phobos special. The moon's composition is remarkably similar to blackish carbonaceous chondrite asteroids. These C-type rocks are rich in carbon, giving Phobos its dark appearance. This discovery has led scientists to hypothesize that Phobos and its sibling Deimos might be captured asteroids, a theory that's still under debate. From the Stickney Crater to its unique composition, Phobos is a celestial body of immense interest. Phobos is a land of extremes, especially when it comes to its climate. Temperature variations on this moon are nothing short of dramatic, creating a stark contrast between day and night. Imagine, if you will, standing on the sunlit side of Phobos. You'd be basking in temperatures that rival a pleasant winter day in Chicago, with the sun's rays warming the surface beneath your feet. But don't be fooled by this apparent comfort. Venture just a few kilometers away, to the dark side of the moon, and you'd find yourself in an environment harsher than a night in Antarctica. The temperatures plummet dramatically, creating a frigid wasteland where the chill of space reigns supreme. These extreme temperature fluctuations are due to Phobos's thin atmosphere, which can't retain heat, and its proximity to Mars, which results in significant tidal heating. Phobos, with its extreme climates, offers a unique study in celestial temperature variations. Phobos, like all celestial bodies, has a future trajectory, and it's a fascinating one. This Martian moon is on a slow-motion collision course with its parent planet, Mars. It's creeping closer to the red planet at the snail's pace of six feet every hundred years. Yes, you heard it right, six feet. That's about the length of a small car. Now you might be thinking, well, that's not very fast, and you'd be right. But remember, in the grand scheme of the cosmos, time operates on an entirely different scale. So what does this mean for the future of Phobos? Well, in about 50 million years or so, give or take a few millennia, Phobos will meet one of two fates. It will either crash into Mars in a spectacularly cataclysmic event, or it will break up under Mars's gravitational pull, forming a beautiful ring around the planet. Whether it crashes into Mars or breaks up into a ring, the future of Phobos is sure to be a fascinating event. So, why should we care about this little moon orbiting Mars? Phobos may seem like just another celestial body in the vast expanse of space, but it's far from ordinary. This tiny moon, with its unique orbit and extreme temperature variations, is a trove of intriguing mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Its composition of C-type rock, similar to carbonaceous chondrite asteroids, raises questions about its origins. Could it be a captured asteroid? And what about the Stickney Crater? a scar that covers half its surface. What cataclysmic event led to its formation? More importantly, Phobos is a window into the future. Its slow, inevitable descent towards Mars, 
paints a picture of cosmic forces at play, a stark reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe. Scientists continue to study Phobos, eager to uncover its secrets. And who knows, the answers we find might just reshape our understanding of the cosmos. From its unique orbit to its uncertain future, Phobos serves as a reminder of the endless mysteries and wonders that our universe holds.